Hey, what is up paintballers? Coach Crane here with Play Better Paintball. I'm a strength and conditioning coach and I'm gonna give you my approach to buying knee pads. I have had these since around the year 2000, 2001. I've been using them all summer and they have finally stretched out enough. They slide down my legs now, especially when I get sweaty. So it is time to replace my knee pads and I'm gonna show you my exact process that I would go through, that I am gonna go through, buying new knee pads, and I'm gonna do it at the best source for paintball, lonewillpaintball.com. Not because this is a sponsored post or anything, but because I met them in person, they were super nice, and I want to give them my business because I wanna support good people in paintball, and Tony, Caesar, all the guys at Lone Wolf are good people. So, go with me to the screen over here. I'm gonna open all the knee pads that Lone Wolf Paintball has available, and I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on each one, and then at the very end show you which ones I am going to be buying. So let's go right over here to the computer. I've got my screen recording on. Hopefully that is working. Let's start at the bottom here. So I am not going to be needing a package of multiple types of pads. I only need knee pads. My elbow pads from the early 2000s, also made by Dye, are perfectly in good working order, fit just fine, so I am not gonna be needing new elbow pads. I'm gonna open every single one of these pads here in a new tab and tell you my thoughts. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail on why I am looking for a particular type of thing because I'll link my video below, but I've already done a video explaining the importance of knee pads and what the big reasons are that you need to look for certain things in knee pads. So if you have not watched that video, please go back and watch it. Again, it'll be linked below. Okay, first tab, we have the Planet Eclipse knee pads. Now the first thing I noticed looking at these is how skinny the actual padding area looks. That could be deceiving, it could be that, that this is black and there is still the same amount of padding right here, but it is you know, just colored differently. That's hard for me to tell. Um, let's look over here and see if they mention, okay, I like seeing this, that we have an EVA, I think this is supposed to be foam, not form, but an EVA foam is going to be a good material for absorbing impact. That's the material used in bicycle helmets, it's used in many applications where the absorption of impact is the key feature. So that is a good thing to see. High, high density foam is a good thing to see, but I'm not seeing how thick it is. I do like that it has two straps on it. I actually think straps are a good idea, especially as the pad wears out or it's not perfectly sized for you. But what I can go ahead and tell you right now that I just noticed is that they don't have any mediums, larges, or extra larges. I probably would not have selected this brand anyway just because I can't tell how much padding there is to the left and right of the knee and that is very important. If you can imagine, you don't just kneel straight down on your knees when you're in paintball. You, you kind of slide, you scoot on your knees back and forth through a bunker. So your knees are going to put pressure on not just the knee cap, but the sides of the knee. You're gonna roll, you're going to rotate on your knee. So you need as much padding as possible to the left, the right, above, below, and of course in front of your knee cap. So I just can't tell that there's all that much there. And yeah, just something about this tells me it would not be up to my standards for a knee pad. Okay, Empire, Contact, LTD, TT, that's a lot of stuff. Um, what I immediately notice is that the material that looks like it has the padding inside of it almost looks like it's either made of a plasticky hard rubber material or there's some kind of plastic shell on this front side of the padding, which to me screams not gonna be very mobile. It's gonna feel clunky on the knee. I would want something that is thick 
but also moves with your body pretty well. You know, it's as flexible as possible being as thick as it is. So that's what I first noticed. It looks like the padding is pretty wide, covers, you know, as much surface area around the kneecap as I would recommend. But these, yeah, for some reason they just don't look that mobile. Again, I like that it has two straps on it. I am a fan of straps. Um, I've seen ahead of time that some of these only have one strap on them. And depending on where that strap is, I think it's either a smart idea or a pretty dumb idea. And we'll get to that when I find those pads. But yeah, this just does not look like the most mobile design or material. So I'm gonna have to say no on the Empire contacts. HK, now I was at the Windy City Major and I felt a pair of HK pads to get an idea of how thick they are. And I don't know, I can't remember if it was these pads that I saw, but they were very thick and I like that a lot. My thing with HK is that the style of HK is just not really my style. It's a little too flashy, but these are under your pants. So I'm not gonna be considering that when I make my purchase today. Um, I like the straps. I like how thick this looks. Let's see, let's get some other angles. I like how wide the coverage area is. Looks like it could technically be stopping a little bit short up here above the kneecap, but probably that's fine. Um, yeah, I actually, I like everything I'm seeing here. Um, what do we got? High impact performance. We're probably all gonna say that. Dual layer, high impact padding. I like that. Neoprene, knee support. I'm assuming that's what this material is. So neoprene is what knee sleeves are made out of. It's a stretchy material. It's designed to constrict around your joint to one hold in warmth. Um, in fact, that's what a lot of fishing waders are made out of because they insulate heat. So they are, neoprene is basically a waterproof material and it's very insulating. So it can make your joint very warm in the case of a knee sleeve, which helps it move better, keeps the fluid nice and lubricated so that when you're weightlifting or doing other activities where your knees might bother you, knee sleeves keep your knee joint warm. So neoprene will definitely be comfortable and keep your joint warm so that it moves better but as far as impact absorption and protection from diving sliding things like that neoprene is not what you're looking for in that regard i would like to see something about the type of foam that they use and I'm not really seeing that here. So I'm gonna not close this yet. Here we go, so more HKs. These are probably the ones I saw because I remember the pad being really big. I like that there's a strap, at least one. Yeah, it looks like these have one single strap. And this is the case where I would say, this is where if you're only gonna have one strap, that's where it should be is on the bottom. If you can imagine, if there was only a strap at the top, you would be constricting against your quad, which is the tighter you pull, gonna push the pad down your leg. Whereas on the bottom of a knee pad, the strap is going to tighten above your calf. So there's gonna be a wider calf here for that narrower strap to sit on top of. So, <laughs> much less likely to slide down when it's sitting on top of your calf than if you only have a strap at the top and it's basically squeezing against a funnel shape. You're just gonna end up sliding it down. Hopefully that makes sense the way I described that. Dual layered, high impact padding, that's what the last one said. Not seeing EVA foam, dense contour, okay. I'm seeing things that lead in the right direction and I really like this angle here you can tell yeah that is thick padding but I can't really tell what is the padding made out of just because it's thick and they say that it's dense doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually a really good material at least compared to some other pads in here at absorbing that impact I don't care what the cost of knee pads are 
you know, within reason, all of these are under $100. I don't care. Under $100, I will pay whatever the price is for the pair that is most likely to protect my knees because paintball is very hard on the knees. You should spend as much money as possible on getting the best knee protection. You don't want to go the rest of your life with knee problems, trust me. Okay, so here we have the infamous Pro DNAs. And I'll admit, someone's already told me that they had a pair of Infamous and they were not particularly pleased with the amount of protection that they had. So I do have a little bit of bias coming into these with, I will admit they look thick enough, but here's my thing that I immediately noticed looking at these is how much is this material really holding on to your leg, keeping the knee pads in place? It looks from the picture I haven't seen these in person, so you know, none of these, and in fact, not, not a single one of these other than the HK pads have I actually seen or touched in person. So with that being said, appearance wise, it looks like these really thick, possibly heavy pads are attached to a really thin, possibly not that tight material. So I'm a little worried about how well these pads are held in place by this material that the pad is attached to. Um, moisture wicking fabric, that kind of sounds like it is pretty thin fabric around the pad. Targeted compression zones, not seeing EVA foam. Yeah, these could be good pads. I have no idea, but what I can tell you is based on the description, nope, not, not selling it for me. Hydras, if you follow me on TikTok, you have probably heard me talk about Hydras. And not only are Hydras made of just neoprene, there is no padding in there. They call this padding, but neoprene is not a padding material. It, it would have to be a lot of neoprene for it to work as a pad. And I've tried these on in person. Not only, this is actually a deceiving picture, but not only is the Hydra pad super thin, it's hardly any thicker than my knee sleeves that I use for weightlifting, but the so-called 40% more extra padding on the front of the sleeve is actually really thin. You put it on and once it molds around your kneecap, it gets so narrow that like I was saying earlier, you wouldn't be very well protected the moment you start scooting in your bunker left and right, rolling on your knees to move or to lean. So yeah, these are not only too thin, not only the wrong material to serve as padding, but they're too thin from left to right as well, too skinny down the front of the knee. So yeah, sorry, but nope. There was a Virtue Tint when I was in Chicago at the Major. I did not actually look at their knee pads, I don't believe. I should have, because these look like they could be good pads. Pretty similar in design to the HKs. They might, they might be a little thinner. Hmm. See, they probably think this is a good selling point. 30% lighter and less bulky than competing pads. I, I don't want them less bulky. I want them every bit as thick as any of the competing pads, if not thicker. Breathable neoprene sleeve. I'm assuming, once again, that that's this material that the pad is actually attached to and that this pad itself is not made of neoprene. That just doesn't look like a neoprene pad. I'm assuming that's some kind of foam, high density 3D molded padding. So I can't tell what the material the padding is. Again, it could be an, a really good quality, high density material that is good at absorbing impact, but I can't tell from this description. So I'm gonna have to say no, exalt, here we go. Um, these actually look like really good pads. They're, they look like they could be a little stiff, but the way they're cut, makes it look like they should bend really well on your knees. It looks like they are thick enough. 
That's really hard to tell with only these two pictures, though. I honestly don't know much about the brand Exalt either, because it wasn't a brand back when I played competitively. You know, it's been 18 years. This is the year I got back into paintball, so Exalt's a brand I'm just not familiar with, so I don't know a reputation for quality. It looks like a good pad. Not seeing some of the keywords I would look for regarding like EBA or the type of foam that it might be, but it does look like a good pad, but I, I wouldn't buy this without seeing more angles of how thick the padding is and what exactly it is made out of. Do like that they have the one strap on the bottom as opposed to only having one strap and it being on the top. So good design, I, I like this a lot. I like the looks, now, you know, it looks really clean. It looks like a great pad, but just doesn't give me enough confidence to say this is the one I'm gonna go with. Okay, carbon. I did go to the carbon tent, but once again, I actually did not look at their knee pads. A lot of neoprene here. I like the open back design that does help kind of let the knee breathe on the back side. I don't think, think it, eh. I don't think it necessarily makes the pad more mobile, um, but you know, the more skin you expose, the cooler that skin will stay. So in theory, these could be a cooler knee pad, result in less sweating. Here's the big thing I noticed about these is three millimeter dual layer impact foam. Three millimeters is like ridiculously thin. And if you think three millimeters is enough distance to absorb impact between you and the ground on a dive, on a slide, even just kneeling down, that is so thin. I don't care how dense or how good that foam is at absorbing impact that thin, all that impact is just going right into the knee. There's no way you're getting any cushion between you and the ground at three millimeters. There's no way. Two layers of impact foam. So is it two layers of 1.5 millimeters? What's going on, man? <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a gigantic no. If all you're telling me is that I'm getting three millimeters of protection, pretty sure the Hydras have like somewhere between 10 and 14, which is still like, at, I think it's less than half an inch. It might be half an inch. And I really think you have to have at least three quarters of an inch, preferably an entire inch of padding to create enough distance between you and the ground for there to be adequate absorption of that impact so that before your your knee really starts feeling the ground supporting your body weight the speed that your knee is traveling towards the ground has slowed down enough that that blow that impact has been absorbed well so yeah no thank you all right now we are at die and if you didn't notice earlier in the video Dye is what I have literally had for two decades, more than two decades. Big thing here, EBA, high density foam. I can tell, especially top to bottom, lots of padding. I'll admit they don't get the best angle at seeing how wide the coverage is around the knee, but it looks like it is plenty as far as left to right padding goes. And I think they even say in here that one of the new features of this design was that the foam yeah, wraps around your knee. I don't think a single other description mentioned open cell foam. Now go ask Hank Green or somebody who specializes in science as to exactly how beneficial the cell type of a foam is for protecting you in padding. But what I can tell you is these bad boys have just been amazing. Like I have taken dives, I have slid, I've done all kinds of things and my knees just feel like butter. Like they're just gliding on pillows in these old die knee pads. So I already know and trust the name die. So as you can imagine, I'm probably gonna end up choosing die because I would rather, even though I like this design, I like how thick that looks, 
this one could be equally protective, mobile, and good. You know, now that I'm down to these three designs, let me just kind of say what I can see between each one. Um, if I was going to pick between these two HKs, I would probably go for these because they look like they're going to grip your knees a little bit better because they're taller, or at least they look taller. It's hard to tell because in this picture, it's going right into some slide shorts. So it's a little bit difficult to tell exactly how tall these pads are. But in theory, the more material there is around your knee connected to that pad, the better that material is going to hold the pad in place on your knee. All three of these designs have a strap. This die, you almost can't see it, but that is a strap right there. So all of these are going to be able to strap down in case they do loosen up over time. This design just looks like it is possibly a little thinner, but definitely slightly less coverage than this design. So for that reason, I would say you're my third place choice. And then between the die and HK, again, I just have brand experience with die and it was great experience. So that plays a factor, but also the cut between these pieces of foam, it actually is cut on the die pad in a way that looks like it's going to bend better when I'm running, when I'm kneeling, you know, it's going to move better on the knee. These look like they might feel a little clunky, at least for a while. It's possible they might wear in. But yeah, these just don't look like they're going to be as mobile. And I don't know what the material is that makes up the actual padding. So I just don't have confidence, you know, I might be saving some money buying them, but I'm going to spend the extra money to know that my knees are protected. So die, you are the winner at the best source for paintball for the knee pads that I would choose. So congratulations to you die. Just want to say again, this is not a sponsored post. Die didn't ask me to do this. Lone Wolf Paintball didn't ask me to do this. I literally need pads and I thought it would be helpful to some of you to see exactly what I look for when I am looking at knee pads to make sure my knees are going to be as protected as possible. All right, so I've already measured. I am a medium, so I'm going to be ordering the medium pads from Lone Wolf Paintball. Let's go to the cart. And you better believe I'm getting me some Ultra Silk and some Boom Juice. Once again, not a sponsored video. Caesar didn't ask me to do this. I literally want some Boom Juice and some Ultra Silk because after hearing Bud Orr himself say how good this stuff is, I want it. Now it is the internet, you can't be too careful, so I'm gonna do the checkout process off camera, but I'll come back at the end to show you that I did in fact buy these knee pads and this other stuff from Lone Wolf Paintball. All right, there you have it. I have placed my order and I got free shipping. So Lone Wolf Paintball does free shipping on orders. I think it's over $30. So that's super cool that they offer that. Um, website was really easy to use. Again, great people to support. So highly recommend shopping at the best source for paintball anytime you need to get something for yourself. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a additional camera angle on this thing. I'm trying to use my 4K webcam over here, but the computer's telling me that the CPU is bogged down and I need to use a faster encoding preset or something. So, um, We'll see if this turns out to where I can use a couple different camera angles to make it a little more interesting. If it ends up not working and the video doesn't end up saving, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make these videos a little better and better as I go. So if you saw some value in this, regardless of how the videography turns out, uh, please leave a like, a subscribe if you feel like this is going to be good content for you in the future. My opinion on everything that can help you play better paintball. I would love to hear your thoughts on some of the pads and if you think I should have made a different decision, what do you look for when you're choosing a knee pad? I would love to hear that. So leave a comment below. The engagement helps the video a lot and the channel and I honestly would love to hear your opinion. So please don't hesitate to leave a comment below, but please don't leave without leaving a like, subscribing if you're interested. But no matter what, thank you very much for watching and I hope that this helps you play better paintball.